What's up, Leos and witches? Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I am going to be pulling cards for your past, current, and future energies, particularly around love, but sometimes career will come up too. Keep in mind, these readings may not resonate for all of you. If they do, great. If they don't, be sure to check out your rising, your Venus, and your moon sign. There are most definitely messages in there for you somewhere. I want you to also keep in mind that I might be directly speaking to the cross watcher who is watching this video. Uh, roles can be reversed. It could be you, it could be them. Hopefully you're doing good. We'll see. So if you guys wonder why I typically don't read in reversals for these readings, it's mostly because I um, pick up the energies already if they're a miss. So give me just a moment here, Leo, so I can kind of read the cards, see what I see, feel what I feel, and hear what I hear. So in the past, you get the Hermit, the Two of Wands, and the Hierophant waiting don't we love waiting not so there's like a decision that didn't get made or like someone needed to make a decision you're waiting for something and it's like you're going within but you're finding balance with with within this construct of like this decision of someone taking their sweet ass time. Um, it could be you taking your time, making a decision, making up your mind about something. Either way, that's bringing you into a sense of balance, of being closer to, to the divine, to God, the gods, you know, higher power, whatever you want to call it, the light. Um, in your future energies, you have the sun, the five of uh, wands, and the ten of pentacles. So there you are, right there in the middle of the reading here with the sun card. That's very much a Leo card. It's very much a heart card. You know, you're fighting. Like, there's been some, like, sham fighting, some immaturity, either for you or them. Could be both people. Um, there's like stability here that's all around you. And it's like that's what you're illuminating. But you're like having to fight to get there. You know, you're having to fight for the things you want. Um, and in your future energies, you get the four of wands, the lovers, and the nine of swords. So fighting for what you want, this lovers, this marriage offer, engagement, um, a partnership, um, definitely a love connection um, is keeping you up at night. It's keeping you up at night. It's, it's bringing you um, it's, it's, it's dark in there, you know you know you, you don't like feeling up at night worried about whether or not, this will come into fruition, whether or not you're just fighting for something stable for no reason. You know, either way, it doesn't feel too good. Um, so let's clarify the Two of Wands in your past energies.
All righty. So with the Two of Wands, we get the Four of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Queen of Wands. Well, there you are twice. So I feel like you're holding on to your own. You're holding on to your independence, your beauty, your strength, your charisma, you know, everything that makes you who you are. That's what you're holding on to, which is great. That's what you should be holding on to. So whatever decision you needed to make or they needed to make, either way, or whatever it is you're waiting for, it's like you're, you're holding on to you. So clarifying your current energies. Yeah, so making something new. So we have the, the temperance card here, which typically signifies Archangel Michael um, holding um, two cups and uh, balancing and creating something new as the alchemist. So um, by combining different elements, you make something new. So um, with the sun here and the, the immature fighting and the ten of pentacles here, it's like you're creating something new out of maybe what you've been fighting for. It's like you're seeing that you needed to fight for something else in a different way. You needed to create something new. Um, and what that creation is, is, you know, you kind of standing on your own and just saying, this is where I stand. This is my boundary. I'm respecting this gate here. You know, I have the, the wand of opportunity in my hand, you know, and I, I've got it. You know, and the Ten of Wands is also cyclic. It's the ending of a cycle. So I think you're kind of taking your, your, your bags and, and walking away from uh, something that's just not, not quite right. It's like you're seeing and illuminating what hasn't been good or balanced for you. And you're kind of moving on. Um, let's clarify this nine of, uh, I mean, I'm going to clarify the whole kind of current energy situation, but I really particularly want to focus on this, um, nine of swords here for you, Leo. Beautiful. Love it. So with the feeling of being kept up at night with the lover's card here, and that's why I've been signifying that there's choices or decisions that people need to make because the lover's is very much a card about choices. Um, more than just a love or relationship thing, it's very much about choices. It's about duality. It's about right and wrong, head and the heart, making decisions, right? It's, it's the card of the Gemini. So two faces, two choices. It's, it's mostly about that. And with the two of wands up there in your future energies or your past energies, you know, uh, that's very much a card about um, marriage. It's about feeling shackled. It's about lots of things. Um, but mostly I see a lot of things about decisions here that need to be made. So um, around this feeling, a sense of being kept up at night around this decision, this relationship, um, you will come into a sense of justice. Things will get balanced. You're going to be looking at yourself to find the balance, which is really great. And you're going to be put into this energy of um, feeling complete, feeling whole, feeling like you're one with yourself, you're protected, you've got all these great things. And then you've got the Knight of Wands here. So it's like you're going to be going forward pretty swift and clear, but
but within with your own energies you know you're a leo you're a fire sign you're the fire sign so you're going to be pretty um pretty clear about moving toward things that make you feel good and happy um, and that's what I feel you're going to decide to do um, and I also would like to point out that this is the nine of swords here and we have one sword here in the justice card which brings ten so this also signifies to me that another cycle is coming into completion um, and you get the world card here which just sort of reaffirms that even deeper um, I'm going to pull just one card for you for the lovers because I feel that there's still something in there that might need to be said. There we go. Seven of Swords. Yeah, we don't like that. Someone's lying. Someone's deceitful. Um, someone's trying to cut something out. Someone's like, nope, bye, I'm leaving, I'm disappearing off into the night. Um, but you're also seeing that because that moon is shining right down on them. You see how they're trying to like slink away over the hilltop, but like that moon is shining so bright you can't miss them. So it's like the moon card also in the deck of tarot signifies secrets. It signifies hidden energies. It signifies maybe what you're missing, what you're not seeing. But in this case, the moon is like, here's what you're not seeing. This person's just trying to make a quick getaway, you know. So whether or not you need to just like put your hood on and just disappear and like ghost this son of a bitch or whoever the fuck it is you need to ghost, do it. Bye. You know, or maybe they're the ones leaving and ghosting you. Either way, it's for your highest good. Because here you are. Here you are. Here you are. Here you are. And here you are. I don't see you showing up with any of this shit. You're not showing up with any moon cards or five of swords type energy where you're being the deceiver here. That's not, no. Because every single card I'm pulling for you, the sun card, you have the hermit energy here, the hierophant, justice. Yeah, there's a little bit of pain and stuff, but Every single card I'm pulling for you is like beautiful, bounty, passion, the empress, the world. Like, look at how gorgeous these, these people are. You know, these are all aspects of you. So, follow that. Whoever this person is, I'd say just let them leave. Let's pull a card for you from the self-compassion deck to close your reading. Invoking presence. Bring to mind someone who loves you or, or who has loved you. This can be a pet or a person. Notice how this feels in your body. Allow their presence to ebb and, ebb and flow for three breaths. So, if you guys don't know, I have a cat. So, she loves me and that's what matters. All right, guys. I hope this helped. Take care of yourselves.